Hi besties, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys my hamstring focused leg day. I know I've been slacking on YouTube, but I'm back. It is currently like 5.30 a.m. and I just changed into my gym clothes and then I put a sweater on because it was freezing outside. I am probably just going to do a voiceover throughout the whole video, so I hope you guys enjoy that. And let's get right into it. So the first thing I do is make breakfast, which 9 times out of 10 is going to be oatmeal, and I eat it at home or I eat it on the way to the gym. And then I get to the gym, go straight to the locker and just check out my outfit, do a little outfit of the day for my story. And then, I don't know, I just do like little dances here and there. And my friend is also with me, can't see her. But yeah, and then I mix my pre-workout, just realized my water bottle was empty, so I kind of filled it up. So I put two things in my water. The first thing I do is put five grams of creatine, which helps with muscle recovery and also helps you perform better. It is by far the best supplement you can take obviously besides protein protein is like it's not really a supplement but anyways um going off topic um and then i do pre-workout i do the alani new and i love all of their flavors literally so so good and then i do some like deodorant and then like body spray and then mix my pre-workout check out myself again and then i kind of start drinking the pre-workout i just take my sweater off check myself out again obviously and then, yeah, and then I start my glute activation or warm-up. I really hate using the word glute activation because you're not really activating anything, but I just, I'm just used to calling it a glute activation, but it's basically just a warm-up. I really have a hard time feeling my workouts and my glutes, which is why I spend a little extra time just trying to activate I using air quotes, like activate my glutes, which is like just doing isolations and warm-ups to help me with my mind to muscle connection with my glutes. So yeah, you're just gonna see me here doing random warm ups, and yeah, that's basically what I'm gonna be doing for like five to ten minutes before I get into my first working set. So I always start off with my compound lifts right after I warm up. But the first exercise I'm gonna be doing is the hip thrust. As you guys see here, I'm just setting it up right now. But I start with the hip thrust because I have a really hard time feeling it in my glutes. So I just start with this isolation workout and then I get into my deadlift, which is the compound exercise. So as you guys can see here, I am basically just scooping the weight up while I'm tugging my in and looking straight forward. And I'm just basically like imagining an ice cream scoop, just scooping up the weight. Second exercise is going to be the deadlift. I really don't like this workout. I mean, it's a love-hate relationship for sure. It really gives me a hard time. And I also hate putting the weight on and like just racking it and unracking it. It's definitely a pain, which is why sometimes I use the Smith machine just to avoid racking and, you know, unracking the plates. But sometimes you just have to do what you have to do. So this was a little heavy for me, so I am going to lower the weight because, guys, remember, you have to focus on your form before you do a, like a heavier weight. Just because you're lifting heavy doesn't mean anything if you don't have the form right. So I am putting my ego to the side and lifting a little lighter than usual so I can focus on my form, which is going to benefit me in the long run. And as you guys can see, I am controlling the movement and like going really slow instead of just going really fast. So that was basically it for my compound exercise for today. And then I'm going to go into my single leg RDLs, which I will be doing here in a second. But basically those like single leg RDLs guys like I'm telling you oh my god I don't even have the words guys if you are not doing this yet like literally incorporate it into your next workout and you will feel it if you don't feel it in your glutes like I have such a hard time feeling it so I do whatever I can to isolate my glutes and I pick those 
exercises that help me isolate my glutes and help me feel it more. And here I am telling my friend how much I feel it when I do single leg RDLs. So if you're not doing these and if you are quad dominant, please do so. Also guys, if you're doing like 7, 8, or 10 workouts for like one day and you're not seeing any progress, just cut it down to like literally 3 or 4, 5 max, like 5 is even pushing it. And trust me, you will see results. Alright guys, my last exercise is the cable machine RDLs. These are also really good for your glutes and hammies. So yeah, I usually do this at the end and then I stretch, which I didn't film. But yeah, and then I just went home and that's pretty much it guys. Thanks for watching and I love you.